this guy again. Where's he been all my life? Well, funny you mention that. I've been around. Been a lot of places, actually. Uh, a lot of different jobs. Unemployed for a while. No real excuse as to why I've not been doing this other than been displaced, moved into a new home. Things are, things are crazy. I'm living a fulfilled life. Or maybe not. Pay attention to these cutscenes while I go over this list of topics. Yeah, topic list. See, I'm trying to, uh... Trying to engage my brain a little bit better so that if I have this list of predetermined things to talk- Oh, a cat just entered the room! Hi, Kaida! Kaida! She's not- she's not listening to me. But if I have this predetermined list of topics to talk about while I'm playing the game, I feel like I can keep my train of thought a little bit better. Or, you know, at least, if nothing else, have something interesting to talk about. Because, God forbid, I'm not funny. So I'm playing this game here, Axiom Verge, and I haven't beat it yet, but I'm- I've been playing a little bit into it. You might have seen, I might edit it, I don't know, a little sneaky preview, that I have a file that's basically close to the end. I feel like I have maybe a half hour or an hour left of the game if I decide I just want to finish it. There's still secrets and stuff to, to find, but I'm starting a new game here for you because because I want you to uh, wanna, I want to play this game with you. It's fun, and you know, I figured it's, it's an easy game to, for me to slide back into this if I want to continue the routine of playing the video games for the internet. Whoa! Now, Axiom Verge is a uh, 2D side-scrolling Metroidvania type game, uh, you know, like Super Metroid, obviously, Castlevania, where you explore, you shoot, you run, you jump. It, they, they call it a Metroidvania, but this one clearly takes a lot of inspiration from Metroid. And uh, I just really like this game a lot. It's got good music. I like the quote-unquote aesthetic. Now, this is Trace. He's a science man. He just woke up in a strange alien world after a strange alien accident broke his strange alien body. Or did it! Look at, look at this. Look at this animation. Oh, that's cool. And now my game saved, even though I didn't need to. Alright, so I can't go this way. Blocking my path. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go this way. I'm playing on a uh, Xbox One gamepad. Because I haven't actually played with the keyboard at all, so... Mm. Oh, look at this. It's a nice ice cream cone. But actually, Axiom Disruptor. Boop, 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 boop. This is the gun that the lady mentioned. Or did I just... Sorry, I'm weak. Anyway, things are going to get crazy, I'm going to go start shooting some stuff. But basically, if you're wondering about how my life is uh, going lately and why I haven't been doing much of anything, crafting, putting stuff on the internet, really any of my hobbies, well, so, I guess when I went dark and stopped posting things on the internet however long ago, um, I kind of got unemployed for a while, and you think I would have increased my video production, but instead I just kind of started crafting a bit more, trying to sell some stuff. And it did work out for a while, I sold a few items for auction, that sort of thing, and it was pretty alright, but, uh, mm, I don't know, I, like, I wasn't making videos, and I wanted to. And then I ended up getting a job at a fabric land, uh, you know, retail hell, it was not a great time, but it was a job, uh, I paid the bills. And I also met my girlfriend, Lindsay, whom I am now living with. So, uh, I'm not recording in the same desk I was, or in the same room I was, as all my other videos previously, I, you know, moved in with her, uh, Four or five months ago, back in February. Uh, I'm just kind of running around in circles. Uh, need a drill, can't go that way. So, th that's cool and all, working at Fabricland. I ended up quitting Fabricland, she became the manager of a different Fabricland, and then I quit and got a job at a tool repair shop where I work 8 to 4.30 every single week. Uh, every single weekday, rather. It's a pretty hard job. But I means I have a much more regular schedule, and I have, you know, weekends now. Did I go in here? I did not. Where I just have time off all... Oh, I need the weapon to go in there. Time off all the time on weekends to record and stuff. I got this routine going. It's going to be great. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to look at this sheet here. What else have I been getting up to? How do we actually try and progress in the game and actually go up here? Um, so I'm in a band. You all know that. Kind of, sort of. Uh, we're recording our second album. It's, uh, you know, dude, come out. Actually, we recorded it already, and we're just getting ready and finishing up a few things, like album, album artwork and getting it mastered and stuff. It sounded pretty cool. Here's a clip. Wow, that sounded cool, didn't it? I like that part where I did the thing. Um, we should be hoping to release it sometime, if not this month, maybe uh, middle of August. We're looking at a tour, potentially. You know, something cool. If you live in any of these locations that we don't really know if we're going to be playing at, then hey, we'll come see you. Um, other than that, I've been playing a lot of a lot of Xbox games lately because my PC, well, my PC's had a lot of strange things happen to it. Particularly, um, so Windows 10 came out. I didn't want to get Windows 10, 
but I, I did it anyway because I'm going to whatever else see what all the fuss is about. And then um, I got a, because I don't have a landline right now, I'm playing on a wireless internet setup, I had to get a wireless adapter for it, but the drivers for the wireless adapter didn't support Windows 10, it was, it was a big old thing. So what I had to end up doing is reformat back to Windows 7, which ended up fucking my computer up like crazy, I had to get a complete uh, OS reinstall, which was just fantastic, cost a lot of money. But now here we are, playing the video games for you. Can you even hit me, guy? He can't even hit me. That guy couldn't even hit me. Ooh, can't go that way. Um, things are alright there. So in the meantime, though, I was playing a lot of Xbox games, a lot of Killer Instinct, a lot of Halo 5, uh, Doom. Really like Doom. Oh, that's a good-ass Doom game. If you know me for any extended period of time, you know I like me some Doom. And the new Doom is good. It's visceral, it's fast, it's everything... I don't say it's everything we wanted it, because like, there's a lot of things that I think could be better about it. I don't really mind, like, in the game, there's no reloading, because in Classic Doom there was no reloading, so you have to have that. You have to have Classic no reloading, but in fucking New Doom, who needs it? Just reloading is for babies. <laughs> A gun with with more than six bullets? That's, that's just how it is, baby cakes. I don't actually know where I'm going, but I noticed by the tile set, yep, there is a new thing for me. Is it the, the uh, it's the pulse, not the address disruptor. See, I, there is about a brief six month period in between when I started this game and when I picked it up just like a week ago. So the beginning of the game is the most fuzzy for me. Um, I think after the third boss is where I start to really know where shit's going, or maybe the four, I don't know where the bosses, or the names of them. It's all really just... It's all just a bunch of fuzz and fudge. So if I uh, don't know what I'm doing, it's because I really don't. And truly, in these kind of games, who does know what they're doing? Like with uh, with Super Metroid, I have a pretty good handle on how to play the game, but mostly I just kind of play it by going wherever I haven't been on the map already. This weapon I don't actually like that much. What I like about this game is that uh, there are so many freaking types of weapons. Oh my god. In Super Metroid, you get like a beam. You get two beams. You know, whatever. Beams. I like beans. You like beans? This game is like 36 trillion things that do fucking all sorts of different crazy garbage frame rate. I'm still working that out. I I want it up to production quality, but at the same time, I haven't really uh I don't have the money to do so. The job is nice and all, a lot of, a lot of good money in that, but you know, but living on your own, with your girlfriend, pays a lot of bills, stuff, car payments, that sort of thing. We. Look. So you may have noticed, possibly potentially, that uh, in the beginning of this video, there was some music that you may have never heard before. And you'd be thinking, Daniel, this didn't come from a video game, or it's not a video game remix. What kind of angle are you playing here? I know you usually start these videos off like that. Well, so, I got a couple things to talk about with the nature of how I've been putting my videos out. Nice timing of the music, by the way. In that, I would, I would take a song from a video game or I would take like a remix from something and I would put it in front of the video, cut, print, done, it was easy, it was whatever, but at the same time, um, kind of a sketchy thing to do because I just took a bunch of songs from artists, like a bunch of remixes and shit, and just kind of put them up without even asking the artists or anything, and that's not really a good thing to do. I'm, I'm not really happy about it, oh shit, I'm not proud of it, and I kind of wish I did in retrospect. There's a lot of episodes of, of I'm Playing This where I would probably just as likely look through them, find which ones have the episode titles be some remakes and get rid of them or delete them all together like I'd, 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 I'd be too lazy to go and edit all of the intros out but at the same time I'd, if I deleted them all I probably wouldn't be losing anything of value because let's be real here it's me it's me the thing about this game is that the beginning you have, you have such low health and your weapons are all so weak that some of the enemies are actually like a serious threat even though if they just kind of fly around so I remember dying a heck of a ton, and I'm trying to be- Ooh, what's this? Ooh. What is this one? Is this a uh, size mode? Alright, so this is not actually where I'm supposed to be. This is just a little secret size room. Well, whatever. That's okay. Secret size room. But yeah, so the music in the beginning of the episode um, was an original of mine. I actually have working on an album of my own, independent of the band I'm in, called Arcade Revisionism. Here's a clip of it! You like that? Wow! Music. For your ears. Um, I'm hoping to release that sometime soon. I have a, a guest track coming from a friend of mine, from the, one of the guitarists from my band, actually. He's working on that. and I asked some other people if they wanted to put tracks in, and they all said no. They all said no. But that's okay. My, my spirits are high. 
wanted to get a sip of some coffee here. Gross. So I, uh, I made some coffee this morning with my nice Keurig that my parents bought for me when I moved out as a moving out gift. They also bought me some reusable uh, Keurig pods, like little coffee pods, because I am self-conscious that I'm single-handedly destroying the universe with uh, rampant pollution, and god damn it, our Keurig cups just so goddamn bad for the environment. Um, so I'm like, hey, give me a recyclable one, I'll just refill it with my own coffee, and bada bing bada boom, we're, we're good to go. Oh, this is a boss room, which means there's gonna be a save room over here. Gonna wanna save it before I go in there. So, um, the, the reusable pods they got me for the machine don't actually work. The machine is like, you can't use this. Is this a Keurig brand Keurig pod, you dumb fuck? Get that shit out of here! And I'm like, okay, whatever, man. So, at first I'm like, I'll try to trick it. So I took the lid off one, and I'm like, this will be this will be fine, it'll work. Fuck, I need my full health, I'm gonna go back in there. Uh, and that didn't work. So then I'm like, alright, I'll just cut the edges down so it fits better. This will work, but it still didn't work. So what I did is I took the tray... Actually, you know, I have a picture and a video of it I took for Instagram, so I'll, I'll just show that to you at some point, because it is a... Uh, Listen, I'm not an engineer, but when it comes to solving problems, I like to feel like I am one. That's a good, good talking, everybody. Good talking, everybody. So, while I fight this boss, I mentioned that I want to kind of up the professional... Well, did I mention that? I mentioned how I'm using fraps, and, uh, well, still, because I haven't changed anything. I am actually recording on a separate audio track than through fraps now, so I will be able to edit the audio quality, uh, independently of the game volume, which is good, right? Oh! Kill him! Kill this man! And uh, that's kind of something I've been waiting to do for a while, and it's easy. I don't know why I never did. So now I'm doing that. But I also want to um, get away from fraps and actually get some independent capture equipment uh, and software so that I can not only do stuff off of the computer, but it's a little bit better. I don't have to worry about the frame rate issues so much, because let's be real here. I'm not exactly quality McMahon, my quality is a thing. Fuck you. Whoa. And that means I can play all sorts of games, not just emulated too, because I know a lot of the N64 and GameCube emulations I have. Oh, get me in a corner here, corner trap, and uh, they're uh, they're not great in terms of quality, as per that Indiana Jones video, which I still stand by as my greatest video of all time. The haters will disagree, but when the time comes and they look at the receipts, Indiana Jones is what will stand the true test of time. Oh, fuck you! Yes! Yes! Money shots! Big money! Oh, get out of there. No whammies. So this uh, this game has the trope of bosses where as they get more and more, ow, more and more damage, they will kind of turn a darker shade and move faster and get angrier and, you know, just in general be more aggressive. A la Turtles Arcade. I got him! I beat the man. Get fucked. Now, typically in a game like Metroid, I know there's a save room back there, I just beat the boss. I would want to go and progress this way, but I don't know it's that way, so I'd want to go back and save. However, in this game, you don't have to save, because uh, you will automatically, like if you die while you're getting somewhere, you'll automatically be sent back to the save point with all of the progress up to that point, so you don't have to worry about fucking losing all your shit and having to start over. It's, it's like, yeah, man, the walls, they sent you back. It's great, it's a good time. I have my drill now. I love my drill. You can also kind of like feather the drill a little bit, like, yeah, 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 yeah! It's great, it's a good time. So all in all with recording, I kind of want to take a more, I guess the word is casual, approach to how I'm putting stuff out. Because I don't mind like a rigidity kind of schedule, like I don't mind a rigid schedule where I'm, I'm recording as much as I can and putting stuff out and editing. Because that's what I want to do, I enjoy this, as, as weird as it is, it's a good time. But I also want to... Just make it a bit more, you know, like if I don't put a video out, people aren't going to be like, Oh, well, not that anybody watches this shit anyway. But just something, something, how do I say, something like Breezy Smooth, Cover Girl. Alright, so I'm going this way, I guess. Um... So my goal right now, my mission in this game of Axiom Verge, I was contacted by a voice, and I gotta go find them. I gotta go find El Sonova, or has her name been revealed yet? Okay, what I wanna do is this, there we go. Uh, if her name hasn't been revealed, then whoops, spoilers. If not, mm, you can sue me for spoiling a video game. Not fucking likely, pal. Hey, come, come on, fucking get, get, yeah! Ugh. Oh, that was much needed. 
I think I'm close. I don't know. This uh, the one thing about this game is that in in a, like a Super Metroid or that sort of thing, there's typically uh, map rooms where you get like a full map that shows you the area you haven't explored. This game, not so much. You get a grid of the environment. Not necessarily saying the grid will be full, because I know this environment actually probably is much bigger than this. Uh, I'm probably going to hop into a tube here. Oh, can't go that way, because I don't have a thing yet. So I'm going to go down this way, and that's probably likely all going to be... I'm going to leave this place very soon. Oh, sounds like some bad corruption going on there. You get an achievement for destroying all these regeneration blocks. I already have it, though, so if you uh, expect to see any achievements in this playthrough, get fucking... Get out of here, loser. Uh, I can't jump this high, can I? No, I cannot. Okay. When I picked up the game after the uh, brief hiatus, I kind of forgotten what I had acquired and what I hadn't, so there's a lot of things I could do without- ooh, that was bad. Without realizing that there's just some limitations this game has, or I start off with. And I, uh, gotta remember what I can and can't do. I, uh, can't get that yet. Case in point. <laughs> So the game really slows down when there's all these re rejuvenating juju blobs, which is uh, not good. Oh, it's bad all the time. Yay! And these are like your energy tanks. Um, they also have them in a heart container format where they're smaller versions, and if you collect uh, about five, I think, you will get an extended life bar, or there's the big ones, you just collect them immediately and you get the... You get the big, big. Hello, it's me. Your guy. The drill also kind of damages enemies, which is nice. Um, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but if you got some guys up in your grill, you can just kind of push them back. Tell them to get the fudge out of there. <sighs> okay. Good save, everybody. Good save. I'm gonna drill right through here because I can't. It's, it's not even. It's not even. It's an option. It's a. Oh, there's a thing in there. I think. It's. It's. It's a feature. This is the way it should be. I think there's a thing in here. I could be lying. Like I said, a lot of things I don't remember. It's all fuzzy. But I'm gonna be a drill man. I'm a contractor. You know, I'm too old to Tin Man Taylor. I'm... <laughs> I'm... I'm Woody from from, from... from Toy Story. Or is it Buzz Lightyear? Is it this thing? Don't know if I can go in there yet. Because I'm looking at this and there's a lot of stuff. I don't, I don't necessarily think it's spoiling if I tell you there's some abilities I get later that are pretty cool. That make a lot of this trivial. But I look around and there's some things I'm like, wow, if I had never played this game before, I'd be like, damn, I just can't go in there at all. How am I going to get in there? Well, the trick is you can't. Oh no, the Fruit Loops. Get the Fruit Loop out of my fucking face. <laughs> eh. He's causing slowdown. Get him out. Get I hate this thing. In my other file, I have so many weapons, it just makes this all so... I think this is a bonus room, I can't actually get anything in yet. I uh, could be wrong. I am wrong. Well, at least I got to show you the Cheerios, the greatest feature of this game. And I'm not saying that lightly, there's some pretty great features in this game. I like the music. The music's pretty cool. And all this was developed by one guy, I don't know his name, but the graphics, the music, the game... All of it, by one guy, and I gotta say, it's a pretty cool concept. There's gonna be some things later on that are like, damn, if I put this in a video game, you'd say I was crazy. Oh, the moving tiles, they just cause so much problems. He's gonna bleed on me. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. A lot of creepy enemies, too, like that thing. Ugh, it's gross. Why is it gonna be looking like that? I feel like this is the correct way to go. Oh. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. Hey! Hey! Uh, he's, he's, he's doing alright. Well, oh, I know how to open that because I know for a fact there's a thing I get here. Ooh, this is all looking kind of glitchy. Kind of glitchy, you know? Oh, man, the developers of this game, they made it so glitchy. Oh, oh, fuck. Somebody got to call the developer of this game and say, listen, man, quality control was clearly... Not up to par on this game. I demand a full refund of the less than $5 I'm fairly certain I paid for this. Apparently this game is coming to the... Uh, it's already on the Wii U. It's on the PC, Wii U. It's also apparently coming to... PlayStation and Xbox? 
Aha, take that, secrets. Couldn't jump up there, but you didn't think of me having the... See, this is a solid strategy, because he would not be able to come and get me through here. I think this is like a restaurant. The food was that bad, it killed him! Hey, Boom. It's classic, it's comedy. It's good, it's fine, funny, damn it! Oh, I'm close to whom I'm supposed to meet. I think she's in one of these doors. Potentially this one. <gasps> I found her! Now this! This right here, this image. This this room. This screen. This sold the game for me. I, I saw one look at this in the Steam preview. I'm like, oh, I fucking dig that shit. This is some good aesthetic. This is Elsa Nova. She is a Rusalki. Or Rusalka. One of the two. I think one of those is a wood nymph in some folklore but here she's like a giant robot thing where are we man no it's not all right this is my favorite weapon in the game this is the kilver this is basically a close range shotgun bang 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 does a lot of damage high energy input output but also can do this aha now i'm pretty sure there's a save room back here so i am gonna go save it because i'd like the health and if i die uh, if I die and I don't save it, all my progress is still saved, but I do go back to the last save room, so it is a good idea to keep upping your saves every now and then. Basically, it's quick. The saving in this game is bing, back, boom, so you show up in a save room, you might as well just do it, right? It's right here. It's quick. It fills up your health. It gives you ammo if your weapon has ammo. No, I'm not saying some do. That'd be telling. I don't know what this thing is, but it's there. I've never seen another one like it in the game, so I'm assuming it's significant some way. That's the thing about this game, especially a lot of games that use a lot of like tiled uh, like landscapes and stuff. You'll see a unique object and you'll think it's important like this. I mean, this is very clearly important. The room color is even different than all the other colors of the rooms. So you see that and you're like, damn, maybe, maybe this is important in some way. But other things, they're just kind of there and you wonder why. Ow. So my range on my kill version isn't that great now, but if I get some upgrades later, I'd be able to kill him standing here while he's up against that wall. Get out of here. Get fucked, man. Yikes, dude. Um, hey, well, I, I don't know why that changed. Yeah! Now, I'm not a speedrunner, but uh, I do know how to play the long con. Come get me! He actually got me up. Oh, that was a bad idea. Mm, fucking god. Damn it! <sighs> I don't know why my weapon is changing like that. That's not good. That's not good. Can you... Hey, can you walk into my bullets, please? What is happening? Oh, my controller's doing some weird shit. <sighs> is this working? My guy? Fuck. God, what is happening? Alright, so that's the first death, and I think I'm actually going to cut it here, because uh, it's as good a time as any to cut it here. Thank you all for watching, we'll do it again next time. Goodbye. Oh no, oh boy, oh it's hot. Ow, mm -mm. okay, alright. I, I don't know if it's working. Oh, it's spilling. Oh, God. Oh, this is still a good idea. I'd do it again. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put you right there. Well, it kinda looks like coffee. A little bit. Kinda messy.